Hello first graders! Today in art you're going to need your sketchbook, markers, and if you don't have markers you can use crayons. You'll also need a pencil and eraser. We are going to be drawing a line lion. Last week we reviewed different kinds of lines. We're going to use these in our project today. Turn to a clean piece of paper and we're going to start by drawing a shape. We're going to need to draw a rectangle, or at least part of a rectangle. Let's use your crayon box, put it in the center, hold it steady with one hand, and with your pencil trace around the sides and top. Don't draw a line on the bottom. You're going to have a shape that looks like this. There's no line on the bottom. Down here, we're going to be drawing a triangle. So towards the bottom here of this partial rectangle, I'm going to draw a line across. And I'm going to draw a triangle with the point down. And you can see this triangle is pretty wide. I'm going to draw a little line down from that point of the triangle and then I'm going to take that line and curve it, bring it back to the side of the rectangle and then back to the top of the triangle. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to curve it around to meet the edge of the rectangle and then back to the top of the triangle. Underneath, I'm going to draw a little curved line for the chin of my lion. Next, look for the top corner of your triangle. We're going to draw a line up, not all the way to the top though, part way. And you can see mine's a little bit of a diagonal going towards the center. And then I'm going to draw a line out to the side. Same thing on the other side, from the top corner up, a little bit of an angle in then out to the side of the rectangle. Then I'm going to do a half circle underneath for the lion's eye and then the same thing on the opposite side, another half circle. Inside these half circles I'm going to draw a partial circle, everything but the top of the circle, and then a smaller circle inside of that. Okay, now we're going to look for the top two corners of this lion's face. We're going to draw the ears, and the ears are going to go around the corner on the outside. It's going to be a half oval. So around the corner, and then go on the opposite side, and we're going to do a half oval around the corner. Next, we're going to take either a black marker or brown, and I've got a brown here. Um, if you've got a black pen, that's fine too. If you don't have a brown or black marker, you can use a black or brown crayon. And we're going to just go over these pencil marks. We're going to outline to make sure that our lion's face shows up nice and bold. Let's add a couple of whiskers, maybe just three lines coming out of the cheek. Now we're going to start working on the lion's mane. We're going to use all those different kinds of line you know to create the hair that goes all the way around that lion's head. I'm going to start with a curvy, swervy line. I'm going to start from the head and go all the way out to the edge of the paper. And if I do one curvy, swervy line, I want to make sure I do a couple more, maybe one on each side of the head. And let's see, what else do I know? How about a zigzag? Start here on the ear. Make sure you bring it all the way out to the edge of the paper. I'm going to continue adding different kinds of lines I know until the lion's mane is just full of line. You should have at least five different kinds of line in the lion's mane. 
When you get this far, we're going to stop, and next week we'll add some color.